Crew Stadium. And it's 16 laps away and racing for the Formula 2 Grand National here at the Crew Stadium. The green flag drops and we've got a full contingent of cars out for the last race of the night here at the Earl Street track. And it's 83, David Stanford, the grand final winner tonight, who leads him away from his lap handicap starting position. Darren Bingley is eager to try and get through the rear of the field. Trying to get past two or three, Tony Smith and the yellow top to try and make progress. He started off well tonight, but has suffered some severe problems through mid-course of the meeting, and it hasn't paid dividends so far. He's going to spin it. Clips the curb, trying too hard. It's a slippy, tight track with 33, Keith Stanford hot on his heels. 185, Richard Park is making good progress from the front of the white tops. He's had a good drive tonight with his Ali Forsyth style car. Nice 185 leading him through. Well, 616, Andy Foxall is also there. And another good driver has made a good progress tonight. Number 86, Steve Booth. Darren Bingley is moving on the inside of 347, Alan Nelson. And Alan moves wide to the fence there, obviously got a problem. And Darren's now trying to look to close down. Number 13, Andy Ford, as they move through turn three and four. Darren's going to cook it again. And he's lost it again. Track champions obviously got some handling difficulties. And it's allowed uh, 33, Keith Stamford, to get past as the superstar, 827, Alan Cole, looms in his mirrors. He's going to try and wind it up for this bend again. Trying to put this foot hard down but a little bit more tentative this time as he moves through turns three and four looking for the inside line on the inside of 203 Tony Smith but predictably Tony Smith tries to shut the door on the 622 car and again through turns one and two round the pit turn they go 203 and 622 they're battling down the minor places at the moment as we're looking through to pick up the leaders once again and the starter signals for 616 to be the leader from 86 Steve Booth in second and another good drive from 344 Mark Wood Phil Woodall He's in third at the moment. 790, Mark Taylor is in fourth. Darren Bingley has managed to get past 203, Tony Smith, despite the fact that Tony Smith tried to put the bumper in and spin him out there. Down the back straight he goes. Turns three and four, goes 622. And he manages to avoid 347, Alan Nelson, who's got himself into a bit of a pileup. Nearly cooks it a little bit again as he tries to close down number 13, Andy Ford. Number 86, Steve Booth, has got himself wide and he's lost a lot of time. And 33, Keith Stanford moves up another place. David Stanford towards the rear of the field. He's still to make any impact. But up and clear at the moment, 344. That's Phil Woodall from 616. Andy Foxall and Darren spun it again. And that's a lost too much time, I don't think, as... 203 and 185 have got by but 83 David Stanford is right behind him now Darren tries to move on the inside of 185 Richard Park he's got that move on there and he moves through turns three and four to try and get back on turns with 203 Tony Smith the man has given him so much aggro tonight at the crew stadium 
He's keeping himself clear of 83, David Stanford, and those two red tops move down the back straight now. But Darren won't be pleased with his performance in tonight's Grand National as 3.44, Phil Woodall leads it clear from 7.90, Mark Taylor in second, and in third is 33, Keith Stanford. Darren winds it up again, trying to close down the 203 car to Tony Smith through turns one and two. Down the back straight they go once again to complete another clap. And it's only five next time for the lead car. And the lead car is going to come through any moment now. It's 3.44, Phil Woodall, who's still clear from 7.90. Mark Taylor in second. The first three drivers are having a lonely clear lap here. There's a long way back we're looking for. It could quite possibly be 151 Tony Lampard as Darren Bingley engages in battle once more with 203 Tony Smith. Darren loses the back end a little bit once again and he's still yet to try and get some car lengths and get that bumper work in on 203 Tony Smith. He gets by number 86 Steve Booth but it's Tony Smith who's presenting him with the problem at the moment up ahead and 344. Phil Woodall is looking for another victory here at the Crew Stadium. With 790, Mark Taylor still in that second place. And still in that third place is three thir it's number 33, that's Keith Stamford. In fourth at the moment is number 13, Andy Ford. And in fifth is, two, is 622, Darren Bingley. First time Darren's actually featured, in my reckoning, in the, in the results in the Grand National. And after all the slipping and sliding that he's had earlier on in the race, I would imagine, oh, and Keith Stanford's got himself a problem. He's clipped the fence and taken a rear wheel off, and that's the end of the Scotsman's race. Darren goes perilously close to that wheel as they go over the pothole around the pit turn, but he's managed to avoid it, and he's still got himself a good distance ahead of 83, David Stanford. As there's only going to be two laps to go this time, as Phil Woodall, as we're looking for him, where's he gone? He seems to have lost the leader for a moment and I can only see Mark Taylor so obviously Phil Woodall has had a problem and he's been signalled the one lap to go board it's 790 Mark Taylor who's now leading with only 400 metres left in second we're looking for second and it's 622 Darren Bingley who's moved into second place in third now it's uh, 13 Andy Ford and in fourth is 83 David Stanford and I would imagine that Darren will be as long as he can just get through this last little bit with Richard Park just in front of him he's got it and it's 622 Darren Bingley who gets second behind a long way ahead 790 Mark Taylor in third is number 13 Andy Ford and coming home fourth from his lap handicap was number 83 David Stanford and that completes tonight's proceedings here at the Crew Raceway. We've opened